Hi, Aaron. Great day for Glaber at the plate. What do you think clicked for him in the batter's box? Um, you know, he's, he's been, he's been clicking now really all of summer camp and, um, you know, hit a couple balls on the screws in the first two games, you know, had the walk, smoked the ball the other way. So, um, you know, just, just a good player getting some good pitches to hit and doing some damage today. So really good, good, good to see him really set the tone for us offensively. He essentially knocked Corbin out of the game. How much of a key was that for you guys, considering the way he had been throwing the ball, I believe, prior to that home run, he had only given up one hit? Yeah, he was cruising. Uh, you know, we had hit a couple balls hard. Judgey hit a ball hard. Uh, Luke smoked the ball that uh, Cabrera made a really nice play on. But, you know, he was going through his, um, you know, he was having his way with us for the most part. And, uh, you know, I think the guys felt confident, you know, coming back around that next time that, they'd be able to get to him after seeing him, you know, that's, it's, it's an elite, you know, put away slider pitch that, you know, a lot of our guys haven't seen a ton of. So, um, you know, he, he pitched well against us, but we were able to at least outlast him and, and throw together some good at bats in, in some timely spots. What impressed you most about the way Tommy Canley was able to get out of that jam? Man, he just, he just kept making pitches against good hitters. Um, you know, his, He's just throwing the ball really well right now. You know, since since summer camp has started, um, really he wasn't throwing great in spring, um, but when he got back for the summer, the velocity was there. The I, I think his fastball is actually playing a little bit better, but his changeup was was when it's that when it's usually really special. It, it had that look to it tonight today. What what do you think is the di the difference has been with Canley? Why do you think the stuff is so much better now than it was in the spring? <sighs> I don't know. I think just time of year. I, and I think in spring, you're kind of getting going, especially when you're an established guy and kind of work it in. And, you know, right away from summer camp, the, the stuff is really jumped off the screen. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. We'll take the next one from Dave Lennon. Hey, Aaron. I know whether it's a short season or not, you said you always take an urgency into every game. This one, though, seemed to kind of have a real elevated feel to it, though, right? I mean, Corbin was so good. Your bullpen came in, did a great job. You got a couple late runs and, and scraped across the, the you know, the go-ahead. Did it kind of have a more urgent feel to it? And, and was that kind of in the back of everyone's mind a little bit, I think? I, I mean, I don't know. We, we emptied the tank a little bit today. Obviously, there were a lot of different things that happened in that game and getting guys off the bench and obviously being a bullpen game where we had to kind of piece it together there for nine innings. Um, but, you know, credit to the guys for just, you know, you know, struggling a little bit first half of the game offensively, but really stringing together a lot of good at bats. And then, you know, Lowe did a great job setting the tone and the bullpen was excellent. So a um, couple of key defensive plays, that double play that, Geo and DJ turned was against Robles was really special. Um, just just a, a lot of guys having a hand in a in a good solid victory to win a series. Thanks. We'll take the next one from Marley Rivera. Hey, Aaron, just uh, wondering what you saw of Jonathan Luis got today. Thought he was really good on the attack, um, really filling up the strike zone. You know, I was a little nervous because. Trey Turner had such a good at bat to start. I think 11, 12 pitches. I'm like, geez, he's, you know, it's big that he got the strike out there, but I'm like, you know, where's this pitch count going to go right away? And he managed it, had a clean second inning and, you know, gets dinged with the Homer, but otherwise um, I thought he threw the ball really well, um, mixed in some really good changeups in some spots um, and just what we needed, you know, his first time out, you know, three innings, one run, we we'd sign up for that. Uh, what did you like about him in this role? Like how the way he handled the role? Because he's got, he's got elite stuff that can go through a lineup. Um, you know, especially he right, left, the, the, it doesn't really matter. He doesn't need a matchup necessarily when he's on with his game, he can go through any lineup. And that's why we like him kind of starting out sometimes in these situations. Cause we know he can give us a few innings, you know, and, and today getting up to, I think he got 50, 51 pitches or whatever. Um, it was it was just what we needed. Thank you. Go to George King. Aaron, you walked the right hand to get it to the left hander. Is that because of Canley's changeup? Yeah, I mean we just we, you know it was just a matchup we preferred. We did it with Greeny, and then we did it with uh, with Tommy. And 
yeah, both those guys, you know, you know, get both handed out. But, you know, in those situations, I didn't really want Kendrick with his, you know, bat to ball skills, a hit, you know, tying or beating us or anything like that. And I just, you know, preferred that matchup.